Microsoft shrinks its Nigerian office, moves more roles to Kenya. After laying off half of his workforce in Nigeria, Microsoft will reduce his office space at the King's Tower building in Ikoyi from six floors to two, suggesting a scale back in his Nigerian operations. One person with direct knowledge of Microsoft business said the global technology company may not renew its tenancy in 2025 when its current agreement runs out. Organizational and workforce adjustments are a necessary and regular part of managing our business, Microsoft said in an email statement. Microsoft's sales team, largely unaffected by layoffs earlier in the year, will occupy the two floors for the next year. Layoffs in May and July 2024 affected most of the engineering team in Nigeria after the company closed its African Development Center in Lagos. One person with knowledge of the matter said engineers who stayed on the team have been asked to relocate to Kenya to join new projects. While we have made the difficult decision to close the African Development Center in Nigeria, we want to emphasize that this move does not diminish our commitment to Nigeria and the region, a spokesperson for Microsoft said. After it closed the African Development Center in June 2024, Olatobimwa Williams, the company's Nigerian MD, met with Finance Minister Wali Edom and shared a similar message.